Something's happened to the world. It began in our homes. A stalking, creeping thing that crawled into our beds and hid behind our doors. It began with our loved ones. The violence soon took to the streets, gleeful and enthusiastic. It exhausted the rescue services, it overran the military. For a time there was only noise and confusion, but now it's all gone silent. It's not too late, the world is still out there. The pieces can fit together again. I can save it, but not without help. And so I found you, a lone child in a quiet place. I'm glad you're here with me. I know where we have to go. I remember the room. I'll take us there right now. Just follow my voice. A small act should be enough. Great, that worked. Here we are. Uh, I, I know the whole situation's a little confusing right now, but all I need you to do is push the big red button. The one right over there. That's a funny looking device. Wonder what it does. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and keep that thing. You never know. Anyway, red button. going on? Did we miss something? Oh, God. No, 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 no! Hey, kiddo, you awake? Feeling all right? Good, good. That didn't quite work out back there, I'm sure you noticed. So there must be something else that needs taken care of first, and we should find out what that is. Try walking around for a bit. Let's get our bearings. Someone left something behind here. Break out that gizmo of yours. Let's see if we can find it. Admit that it's pretty fun to swing the hammer around. Not much room for that when you're keeping trains from crapping out. Still, they could at least get someone else down here to help hold the planks.
There haven't been any newspapers for a while now, and the last ones all said pretty much the same. Disaster continues! Evacuate now! That sort of thing. Plenty of gossip magazines left, though, if you want to know who was dating whom before they lost themselves. I can hear them from time to time. It used to sound like war not so long ago, when we still tried to hold them back. Now all you hear is the occasional scream and that deranged ecstatic laughter. Let them stay here. Please, let them die here. Someone's got to fix the bridge. Fine. Get anyone to do it. I don't know any more about bridges than the next guy. Ah, I need a hit. Ah, last of the planks now. Can't wait to get out of here. Good enough. Should hold for people on foot, at least. Hmm. The experience is different every time. Unique, like the, the shards of a broken window. But they're all like dreams at first, half forgotten and hazy. Then it becomes clear, and it's like they're right next to you. Isn't that strange? Anyway, let's move along. There's more to be done. Ah, Atlas Park. Lush, tranquil, secluded. They built it for the view and the symbolism. And the utility. This is the city of Chernosk, where innovation is key and even the architecture is experimental. Let's have a look around the park. I think we're going to find something here. Maintenance. I don't see any stairs. This is a fire hazard. For the record, I did say this was the city of innovation and not the city of functioning utilities. <laughs> 